Hi, I'm Michael Rosenblum, and I am going to tell you how to make millions of dollars with your iPhone. I should know, I've done it myself. I wrote the book, iPhone Millionaire, which is going to be backwards here, but forwards in real life, because anybody can do this. The way you do this is your phone has fantastic video capacity in it. Your iPhone or your smartphone has a camera in it that shoots 4K. That means it's four times high def. That means it's broadcast quality video. Your phone is capable of editing video with a fantastic software, whether you use iMovie or Luma Pro or any of those softwares or apps that you can upload. And we can talk about all kinds of uh, software that you can upload. It's an amazing tool. If you bought 10 years ago, if you want to go out and buy the video firepower, the technical firepower that your phone has, it would have cost you literally millions of dollars. And when you get into the realm of live streaming and adding music and graphics and stuff like that, closer to $10 million. So you effectively have a $10 million broadcast television facility in your pocket. The problem is you don't know how to use it. You don't understand what you've got. You're walking around with a gold mine, but you don't understand what you can do with it. And that's what I'm gonna to explain to you how to do. I got into this business, I'm sorry to say, 30 years ago. And when I got in the business, if you wanted to get a job in the television business, you had to work for a network. So I went to work for CBS, and I got a job. I worked my way up. I was a producer at CBS Sunday Morning, which is a show that's still on the air and pretty much looks the way it did when I went to work there a long time ago. That shows you how backward television is. They don't change. Anyway, in 1988, which is a long time ago, I quit my job at CBS and I bought myself a little video camera because that's all I could afford. I couldn't afford one of these big professional cameras. And I went to live in a Palestinian refugee camp in the Gaza Strip called Jabalia. And I moved in there for a month with my little video camera and I shot video every day. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was in a great location because I was by myself and because I could spend the time, I had fantastic access and I had fantastic reports or the people actually came to trust me. So I shot video every day and I made two little stories in video. Now, that was today, everybody does that. That was a radical idea in those days. And I came back with my little video and I took it over to PBS, to the News Hour, which is also still the same show that's on the air as it was then. And I brought it to Les Crystal, who was the executive producer. He didn't know me, I didn't know him. And I showed him my two little videos and he bought the two stories from me for $50,000, which was pretty good for one month's work. The reason he was willing to do that was because for him to send a cameraman, a sound man, a producer, an editor, talent, hotels, airfares, rental cars, translators, it would have cost him 10 times that much money to get essentially the same thing. So I learned a really important lesson. The equipment doesn't make any difference. What matters is what's on the screen. And if you can take your phone, which is now broadcast quality much better than those little cameras that I had, if you can take your phone and you can create something that is good as what you see on TV, and God knows there's a ton of crap on television, and you can charge less than these giant production companies do, which have cameramen, soundmen, producers, overhead, receptionists, carpeting, rent, all this kind of crap. If you can deliver a product that's as good as what they can deliver, you can make a lot of money in the television business because there are, there are 2,000 cable channels just in New York. They run 24 hours a day. Cable in the United States alone has an appetite for four and a half million hours of programming every year. Uh, your whole life is only 780,000 hours long, which is kind of sobering, but it makes you think maybe you should start doing this. So if you can take your phone and you can deliver a compelling program better than what you see on cable, and I bet you can, um, you can make a lot of money. And I can show you how to do this, so stick with me.